Hello, I'm Penley the Penguin. And before I give you some math, I'm going to tell you another thing about penguins. How deep do you think penguins swim? Well, it's normal for a penguin to swim 40 to 50 meters below the surface of the water in search of food. But occasionally, they go down far in excess of 100 meters. What we're going to be looking at today is applying various number properties, commutative, associative, and distributive properties, to multiply and divide whole numbers. Now, when we know 8 times 4 is 32, we can get a whole family of related facts. We can say that means 4 times 8 equals 32. We're using the commutative property of multiplication, just switching the order of the factors. We can also move our product, 32, and divide by 8, and we get 4. And we can also use the total 32 and divide it by 4, which gives us 8. All of these are related multiplication and division facts. How can we multiply 6 times 4 times 5 easily? We can use the associative property and multiply 4 times 5. 4 times 5 equals 20, and then we can multiply 6 times 20. 6 times 0 is 0, and 6 times 2 is 12. 120 is the product. There's another way to multiply using a different property. It might be hard for you to multiply 7 times 13 in your head, but you can multiply, using the distributive property, 7 times the quantity 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3 equals 13. And then we can multiply 7 times 10 plus 7 times 3 we're distributing the multiplication over the addition. 7 times 10 is 70, plus 7 times 3 is 21, and then we add 70 plus 21, which gives us 91. That's our product. So if you want to be a good multi uh, mathematician, act like Penley the Penguin.